Good morning, guys. Sean Evans here at Back to the Movies. Jim's back on the vlogs, everybody. Hey. Woo! What a morning. <laughs> uh, we went down to Kids Grove. Uh, Jim was already at the train station. Uh, I was running. I'd have been up all night. Had a good 60 to 70 minutes sleep. Ran down to the train station. The train doors closed. Jim turned to me. We'd missed the train. Jim saved the day. We've driven to Manchester. So instead of a Birmingham vlog, we've actually got a Manchester vlog. <laughs> so we've come to Manchester Disbury. Uh, this was the same uh, Cineworld that me and Tom went to uh, in the Mustang for the Le Mans 66 video. And now we're here to see the rise of Skywalker. We're not huge Star Wars fans, are we really? No, I enjoy them, you know. They're interesting and fun, but... The, yeah, I, I always stick to the old ones. As soon as I saw Force Awakens, I was like, Disney have ruined this. As soon as I saw The Last Jedi, I was like, Disney have ruined this even more. But I've been watching The Mandalorian, and that is really impressive. That is how Star Wars should be done. But um, I think the Manchester Disbury cinema here has got the much better 4DX. Stay tuned, and uh, yeah, we'll check out uh, The Rise of Skywalker. May the Force be with you. All right, guys, so we're in the bar area here at Cineworld in Disbury. We've got a giant screen behind us. We've got all the screens down at the bottom, including the 4DX screen. And we've got this gorgeous little private bar here. Definitely the better uh, of the two cinemas compared to the Birmingham one. It would be ace to just come here, sit down, have a few drinks, and actually watch a film on there as well. So that should be something that they should explore in the future. That's pretty cool. It's like take advantage of that giant wall of a screen up there. Um, but what I did notice when we come in and when we we're looking around, there's no The Rise of Skywalker stuff anywhere. There's no pop-ups there's no giant stormtrooper to take a photo with there's nothing like that but there is one thing there's one one tiny thing that they're doing to like promote the movie right now yeah r2d2 cups so they've got full themed cups they've got uh, the resistance cups they've got the sith cups and they've got the r2d2 cups Did you hear that? Uh, but yeah, guys, we're going to be heading into the 4DX cinema in 20 minutes' time. So, uh, yeah, looking forward to it. A few moments later. Right, so we just got back from The Rise of Skywalker. I've got mixed feelings about this one, dude. I'm torn. I'm torn, just like Ray was torn between good and evil. I'm that kind of torn. <laughs> uh, there was a lot going on in that movie to the point where the story kind of didn't make full coherent sense and not even I, I'm, I'm so confused right now i just said a word that would make russell brand proud co coherent that's too big for my vocabulary vocabulary that's another one yeah i don't know what to really make of that film uh so basically as a whole if you're a big star wars nerd you're gonna go into that film and you're gonna love it there's enough in there to enjoy it's a good movie mm. i just thought it was so lazily written because you've got an arc from Force Awakens to this very point in time in the last movie. We want to explore Finn's character. You don't really get Finn's arc in this story whatsoever. You want to explore Poe's arc from Force Awakens to this last installment. We don't learn anything new about Poe. His story doesn't come full circle. Finn's doesn't come full circle. We focus on Kylo Ren and we focus on Rey. Um, Kylo Ren's story is basically like conflict all the way from the force awakens and in this movie it's like oh okay i've made my mind up now this is what i'm gonna do boom done his his story is gone so it just feels very rushed it feels very lazy it wasn't kind of developed or layered to the point where you actually cared which way he went so we kind of get Ray's full arc in, in this particular story and it comes as a big revelation like i didn't see it coming i'm sure other fans didn't see it coming as well but once again, it's only surface level exploration of character arcs. It's just very lazy writing. There was no time and dedication put into the characters. It was all like fan service. It was all like, okay, so if we show this character who was in this old movie, people are gonna love it. If we show these two little things that we haven't seen since Return of the Jedi, then people are gonna love it. it just seemed a bit lazy for me in that department but as a whole i enjoyed the experience someone else who knows about as much about star wars as i do <laughs> Jim, what did you think of the rise of skywalker like you say man any kind of star wars nerd or anyone who likes films are just gonna look they're gonna enjoy it 
it's an enjoyable film. Anyone, anyone can go and watch it. That's that kind of that's what Star Wars is, though, isn't it? Anyone can go and watch it. Yeah. F- well, for me, since Force Awakens, Star Wars has been a lazy franchise. It's like as soon as yeah, Disney the, took yeah. over, it was like, okay, if we do this, 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 and this, oh, the fans are gonna love it. They're gonna lap it up. They're gonna buy merch. Oh yeah. my God, they're gonna buy merch. Just look at Baby Yoda. Incredible series. But all they need to do is make a young Baby Yoda. And boom, merchandise, sales, booms. Fans <laughs> suck it up like Jabba the Hutt sucks up frogs or whatever the hell he eats <laughs> on a Saturday night out with a takeaway. But yeah, Rise of Skywalker, for me, it's not a five out of five. It's not a four out of five. I'd give it a three and a half out of five, but only because of the 4DX. Now, the Manchester yeah. Didsbury 4DX cinema is a big, big improvement on the Birmingham one. Um, there's a sequence where Kylo Ren and Ray are fighting on board... Um, it's like a ship isn't it like sinking and yeah. uh, you've got waves crashing and the whole auditorium is filling up with water mist your seats going crazy with the motion of the waves <laughs> and i really enjoyed that i thought that was awesome every lightsaber clash the strobe lights are going nuts and i thought the strobe lights played a big part in kind of amplifying the lightsaber battles every time there was a clash the whole auditorium lit up when that clash of those two lightsabers hit so i really did enjoy that bit and um, it actually started snowing in the auditorium i've never seen snow yeah. in a 4dx auditorium before and me and jim were taking her glasses off like is it, is it snowing like what's going on in here that's where the 3d came in as well yeah so we had the, th- the first time in a long time where 3d movie has actually been decent 3d mm. uh, you had the snow effect coming down from the ceiling you had the 3d flakes of snow actually through your glasses and it really added to the the scene as well because you didn't know yeah. what was on the screen and what was in the auditorium it blended in perfectly yeah, and it looked awesome it felt more immersive uh, i'm trying to not make this review as too long as possible i will leave a link in the description box below with the full in-depth review that's going to take a lot of dissecting because there is a lot going on but the bottom line is it's an okay movie it's not great if you've liked force awakens and if you liked ugh, the last jedi uh, horrible horrible movie then you'll enjoy this one that's all i'm gonna say but it doesn't cater for every star wars fan out there i just thought it was very surface level lazy script writing but i think overall jj's done a good job because it's a very hard franchise to make everybody happy mm-hmm. but i'm on a i'm on a mid part i'm not overly happy i'm not completely disappointing i'm like right in the bang in the middle but yeah i'll leave the link in the description box below with a full review hit that subscribe button hit the little bell to be notified of future videos happy holidays and uh we'll see you in the next one goodbye